Hi Kindergarten, it's Mrs. Merritt again. Today we're going to do Module 3, Lesson 5. And our objective is I can determine which stick of cubes is longer or shorter than the other. We're going to start off our lesson with some five group hands. So I want you to put out five. And then how many are over here? One. Five on one side, one on the other. So we have five and then six. Okay. When you know this one, put those hands up. You got five. And how many on the other side? One, two. So let's count up. Five, six, seven. Nice job. We've got five. And how many on the other side? One, two, three. See? One, two, three. So let's count up. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now we've got how many on this side? Five. And how many on this side? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we have five, and look at these groups look equal. How many do you think are on the other side? Five, well, let's count to be sure. One, two, three, four, five. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Now we're going to use our dot path. And look at something changes here. Yes, the dots get darker. So how many light gray dots do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Let's circle five. Okay, let's go to our next one. Ooh. Now I want you to look at six. I want you to point at the sixth dot. So we know this is five. Count up one more, six. So we can circle six. Good job. Now we need to circle seven. So we jump, we know this is five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, you guys are getting so fast. Where do I jump to? And how many is that? It's five and we gotta go up to eight. Six, seven, eight. Now jump. How many is that again? From here to here? It's five. We've got to go up to nine. So count with me. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. We got to jump. That's how many? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got to circle all 10. So what we can do and what your mind is going to start to do is subitize. You're going to be able to see a number of dots, a number of fingers, a number of lines, anything. And your brain is just going to know what we're doing. So that's what we're going to start getting in the habit of doing. We can tell with this dot path that these dots go lighter to darker right and we counted this on the first one and it was five so every time we saw that our brain was like it's five and then if i asked you to circle six dots you were able to just jump one and know that was six you were able to count on good job okay now we're going to start diving into that lesson or, or our lesson for the day i'm sorry and we are going to start by finding our five stick now remember, when we made our tower up to 10, after five, we started doing the blue on the bottom. So if we started doing the blue on the bottom after five, right here, 
Where would our five stick be? Yes, right here. Let's just count to make sure though. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out because we're gonna do a lot of comparison, or comparing, not comparison, comparing to our five stick. So, now we have to find our two stick. What's an easy way we can do this? Are we gonna start at this end? No, we know two is a smaller number, so we can start right here. So we have one, and then if we go over here, we have one, two. I'm gonna put these next to each other. What do you notice? Hmm. Is the five stick longer or shorter than the two stick? Yes, it's longer. So what we could say is my five stick is longer than my two stick, or we could say something else. Think about it. If we just said my five stick is longer than my two stick, how could we switch that sentence? My two stick is what? Shorter than my five stick. Awesome job. Let's go to our next one. We're gonna pull that five stick back out. And now we have to find the four stick. Can you help me? So we have one, two, three, four. I like how we just count it up like stairs because we know they're in order all the way to 10. So we can just hop and count up as we go. Now, I want you to pause me and I want you to think of the two sentences we could say about these sticks. We're gonna say, my blank stick is longer than my blank stick. And then we're going to switch it and say my blank stick is shorter than my blank stick. Go ahead, think about those and come back. All right. So let's start with the longer one. My what stick is longer? My five stick is longer than my four stick, which makes sense because five is bigger than four. So we have one more cube on top, right? See? One more cube on the five stick. What about, how can we switch that sentence? My what stick? My four stick is what? Shorter or longer? Shorter than my five stick. Okay, hey, let's count up the ladder and pull out that five stick again. One, two, three, four, five. And then we need a seven stick. So we were at five here. Six seven. Wow. I'm going to actually have to move this down here. Look at these. What sentences would we say about this? Starting with the five stick. My five stick, is it shorter or longer than my seven stick? Shorter. So my five stick is shorter than my seven stick, or we could say my seven stick is what? Longer or shorter than my five stick? Longer than my five stick. By how many? How many cubes longer is that seven stick? Well, here's where they are equal. So count up from where they're equal. One, two. So my seven stick is two cubes longer than my five stick. Okay, are you ready for this challenge? We have to pull out that five stick first. One, two, three, four, five. And now we need a nine stick. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh. I want you to think of the two sentences we would use and then figure out how much longer our nine stick is than our five stick. Go ahead. I'm so glad you're back.
So the first thing we're going to do is figure out our sentences. So my five stick is what to my nine stick? Shorter than my nine stick. And my nine stick is what to my five stick? Longer, yes. How much longer is my nine stick than my five stick? One, two, three, four. Now, you guys are already going ahead here, then ahead of our objective. So if you're confused by how we're figuring out how much longer it is, that's okay. We still have time to learn that, but I'm just trying to get a head start because you guys are so smart. So what I do is I go to the point where they're equal and then I count up on the one that's longer. So they're equal here and I counted up one, two, three, four. Okay. We're going to keep working on that, but it's just a little bit of a challenge. Okay. So before we leave each other today, I'm going to talk about something. Do we see a stick that is shorter than the one stick? No, because if we have one and we take that away, we'd have how many? None. Do you see a stick that's longer than the 10 stick? No. And that's because we're only working with numbers 1 through 10 right now. We're going to get to those teen numbers and those higher numbers. But right now we're only working through one through one with 1 through 10. But you know how you told me that our 5 stick, and let me pull it out, is shorter than, let's say, our 9 stick? Would it matter if I flipped these sticks upside down, sideways? Would that matter? Would that change the length? Let's try it. Okay. So I'm going to move this. It will let me. I'm going to move it sideways. Because maybe that changes the length, right? Before we said that our 5 stick was shorter than our 9 stick. And now what do we think? I turned it sideways. Is our five stick still shorter than our nine stick? Is this stick still shorter than this? Yeah. We can't change the length of something unless we break it apart in some way. And that would affect our what? Accuracy, right? We don't want to do that. So today we compared our five stick with numbers one through 10. And you guys did an awesome job. I love how we're starting to count up. I love how we're starting to recognize and subitize a group of five. You guys are getting really good at that and I'm really proud of that. I also love how you're starting to think about how many more we have when something's longer. Because eventually we're gonna think about how many more, but we're also gonna start to figure out how many less. So we're going to look at this nine stick and say, or we're going to look at this five stick and say, how many cubes less is that than the nine stick? And we're going to be able to figure that out. So we're going, this is going to build on to some of your addition and subtraction that you're going to learn, which is super cool. I hope you had a wonderful time. I look forward to seeing your exit tickets and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a great day, kindergarten.